Okay, so I was telling you that we are, I'm going to start a new book today and we would only uh, do a chapter from here. The rest of the chapter would be covered through your presentation. You can choose any of the professions. There are so many professions for which uh, the course is developed in this book. And this book is called as Developing Courses in English for Specific Purposes. Okay. And this is by Helen Baskukman. Uh, so I'll be doing eight chapter with you, English for Thesis Writing. Otherwise, uh, it has chapter that consists of uh, content that tells you how to develop courses for medical doctors, uh, for policemen, uh, and uh, others. Okay. So if we could uh, see the content of this chapter. Basically, it is divided, divided into section. The first section is already covered by us in uh, through the other book, right? But uh, here, you know, we would be doing some case studies basically, right? So um, here it is, you know, academic literacy in visual communication. You can develop courses for them. English for medical doctors, English for police. Uh, but uh, what we are doing together in the class is English for thesis writing, okay? So we would see what are the needs when uh, a course is developed. Uh, what are the problems that uh, students are facing and uh, the university basically, you know, it really depends if a university is asking you or if uh, if an organization is asking you, right? Depending on whether it's a course of uh, EAP or EOP, right? So this is, this English for thesis writing basically lies uh, in EAP, right? And the chapters that you would be preparing for your presentations like English for medical doctors, English for police, uh, and that, that would be for English for uh, occupational purposes, right? So I've chosen this chapter because uh, this uh, can be of your concern also. So English for thesis writing, basically, you know, um, this cannot be taught as a course, right? Uh, apart from research methodology, students still uh, need guidance in order to write a thesis, okay? So uh, they need to be taught about the particular kind of language that is used in thesis writing, right? Now, what is this thesis writing and how you can develop a syllabus for it? Now, the first thing uh, that we are told here, you know, it really depends, but here in this chapter, they have talked about workshops instead of a full-fledged course, right? Uh, because, uh, you know, thesis is something that uh, is done at the end of your degree. That's the last thing you do to get your degree. So um, it's a race against time. Uh, you have less time and you have to write a full-fledged uh, thesis or a thesis report, report, whatever the requirement is. So students uh, cannot take a full-fledged course. They need something that is told to them uh, quickly and that can, uh, of course, guide them. They are, uh, they are final year students or final semester students. Of course, they can write. But how to write a thesis, uh, it's just not about the language, but the structure uh, as well that needs uh, to be, you know, uh, taught to them. Now what happens is, uh, you know, uh, what can be done um, to help the student in short time is uh, to give them workshops, okay? And in this chapter, you'll find out that, you know, a workshop is designed. Uh, for them and uh, there are like three to five workshops okay and those workshops are uh, what would, would, would uh, address different um, topics organizational topic um, if you have done your research course you you should know that uh, a thesis consists of several parts right which can be termed as chapters but within the chapters you know there are sections this is called as organization of the thesis so this workshop, uh, which is designed uh, for English uh, for thesis writing, uh, you know, it has its own sections and it has its own days. So 
all the students do not necessarily have to attend all the days of the workshop. It really depends in which area they are finding uh, things difficult so that they can, you know, um, attend workshop for that day. For instance, uh, the two sections that are highlighted here in this chapter is uh, literature review, where students find it very difficult to write down um, literature along with the citations uh, or build an argument. Because, you know, um, literature review is a discursive essay. It is uh, just not um, an amalgamation or a combination or, um, you know, uh, jumbled up things of contributions and uh, writings or related researches that you find uh, to your work. It's just not that. It needs to be properly organized in the form of discursive essay. It needs to be argumentated where you have to build uh, arguments, you have to put your own claims, and then, you know, you have to take the support of all the related works uh, that are done uh, previously. Uh, along with that, technically, you have to arrange it uh, properly along with the citation, with whatever citation style is asked uh, of you, right? So basically, uh, here in our university, um, as uh, scholars of literature or linguistics, we follow APA. American Psychological Association, until now, uh, we are following the sixth edition for a citation for referencing. Otherwise, um, there are some newer editions also. Okay, so what I mean to tell you, in short, that uh, this uh, thesis for English for thesis writing um, is seldom taught as a separate course in universities, right? Uh, this can be covered through a uh, few days of workshops, okay? And those days would be extended hours uh, of uh, uh, workshops teaching. Now in workshop, you know, there are activities also, there are group works, there are peer reviews, all of that um, can be done in a workshop. So you have more freedom when you say that you are teaching something through a workshop then uh, through a course because uh, in a course you are a little bound uh, to cover everything up but in workshop it's really up to you how do you design it you are actually trying to teach students some kind of uh, skill which is uh, of immediate importance and use for them okay so uh, now let's talk about the context. Uh, why are these workshops important? And uh, what is the necessity to conduct such workshops for English for thesis writing? So these workshops are uh, designed to meet the needs of students uh, who are writing a thesis. Uh, we can also call it dissertation. We can also call it a research report, anything, okay? Whatever your... Um, university names it or higher education commission names it for instance in the previous curriculum it was a research report and then it became um, a thesis okay so basically uh, what you are trying to teach your students uh, it's about english in research writing basically and it can be thesis it can be dissertation it can be research report whatever you want to call it or whatever is called in your own institutions, right? Now, we should know that um, uh, anyone who is trying to learn the pattern uh, in which a thesis is written is doing it for the first time. So the people uh, you are designing English for thesis writing, basically these are the students who are writing the thesis for the first time, okay? Had they written one or two theses, then, you know, it would have been different. They at least um, knew the organization of the thesis or something about language of the thesis as well. But um, students who would be attending your workshop that you are trying to design for thesis writing is by the students who are doing it uh, for the first time. Right. Now, why is it important? Just hold on. 
why is it important uh, you know sometimes uh, people learn english for um, optional purposes okay they learn it or they do not learn it it would not impact their work um, as much as it can uh, when it comes to thesis writing because uh, in many of the universities uh, abroad if i would talk about a thesis is mandatory okay to get the degree so um, in the previous curriculum when uh, we started bs english it was compulsory and everyone has uh, had to do that but now uh, because of the same purpose that students were unable to write english properly in the thesis uh, that's why you know they made it optional um, and uh, they have given it to the good students students who are securing you know some like 70% or 80% marks on research methodology only they would be allowed to do thesis and this is the this is the reason that uh, you know it is assumed that students who would be good at studies uh, would be uh, good at writing as well so the first thing about thesis writing you might be good at research you might have wonderful ideas to explore but if you are unable to write then you know you cannot write a thesis or a proper um, research paper or whatever research related writings you are about to do right so in most of the countries uh, in, in the universities of most of the countries uh, this happens to be mandatory in order to get get the degree so students have to do the thesis so in order to improve their writing in thesis they can attend these such uh, such workshops okay now the thesis uh, should reflect students efforts and time and uh, his understanding of the topic right as i've already told you that the students can come with wonderful ideas to explore to investigate uh, for their research and for the thesis but if they are not good at uh, writing of the language then there then there are problems okay because you know they are putting efforts if even the someone is producing a bad thesis bad thesis in a, in a sense that with bad english even then uh, she has to put a lot of effort and then it would be waste of effort and time and of course someone who is not good at language cannot um present his or her understanding of the topic which is the main aim of thesis writing okay you need to reflect just not your effort uh, your time but also your understanding how well you have understood the topic and in order to tell the readers uh, your supervisor or the examiner about uh, your understanding of the topic or your whole on command on the topic that you have researched you need to have you know good language skills as well now let's about let's talk about the context um where these workshops can be conducted and uh, for whom are uh, these workshops designed okay is hold on okay now uh, these workshops you know can be conducted um, at private uh, places i mean um, at private institutions or uh, um, private places can be rented for them but these uh, are usually conducted inside the universities uh, which will hire you Uh, for english for a specific <clears throat> excuse me english for a specific purposes right so um uh, usually it is uh, it is the university or its administration or its english departments or its other departments just not that thesis writing takes place in english department it takes place in all the departments where, where it is mandatory for the students to get their um degrees after doing the thesis so language is compulsory for everyone it's just not people who are writing thesis in english literature or in english linguistics right now what happens is uh, these workshops or a series of workshops are basically situated in a university context university asks you to come and teach their students university asks you to design uh, workshop material 
for their students who are doing thesis okay and um, our university actually uh, did arrange classes uh, i think um, back in 2019 and uh, the task was given to the department of english now students who were doing thesis who had already done their coursework or they were in the last semesters of the coursework they would come after the university uh, was off okay they would come in the second shift like at 3 o'clock and we used to teach them language is not the general kind of language or english grammar we used to teach them um, english for thesis writing many of them were science students rather most of them were science students who were facing difficulties um in organizing their literature review and uh, in, in in you know presenting their ideas right otherwise while they were you know um Uh, compiling their results it's it's easy for them because it's it's very much scientific it's very much objective okay and people who are doing quantitative kind of research so it again becomes even easier because they are doing it with numbers and less less with words uh, but in any case um, none of the thesis can be devoid of language whether it's a science thesis it's a maths thesis it's a physics thesis and of course it's if it's a thesis of literature or linguistics okay so the context is basically these workshop uh, uh, series are situated in a university context and these are developed for a range of students from from many in any discipline right as i have given you example also because i was a part of uh, the workshop in which we taught students how to write uh, uh, research how or how to do research writing so you are not going to uh, organize or uh, arrange this workshop with your students or with your subject in mind um you would be doing it for many people okay from different disciplines right now what happens is uh, <clears throat> now what are the problems um, that are reported to the university administration that they ask uh, people to design such services uh, you know uh, they might be presenting the need that uh, students are facing difficulties in different sections as i have named just a few and two of the sections are highlighted here so here uh, basically in this chapter that is given in your book uh, we are told that students from different universities were reported to find problem in writing of literature review and that became a, an area of difficulty right so the resource person did not know the students uh, of uh, and their discipline also he was only told to design uh, english for thesis writing okay without you know uh, telling them about the specific students because when a university is, is uh, are arranging workshop it is a raging workshop for it, all the students who, who might be doing you know thesis writing so the target audience the first problem that you might face if you are designing such kind of workshop material is that your audience is not uh, fixed okay uh, similar is the case when um, we arrange and organize uh, workshops for uh, data analysis techniques for instance we are you know uh teaching them spss so spss is not specific to one discipline spss uh, is is a software to analyze the data numerically so while we are teaching spss the students can come from varied disciplines similar is the case with you know um endnote or mendeley uh, which are used or which help the students to organize their references uh, or the literature review right so this happens to be a problem um, that the target audience is not fixed and uh, the resource person does not know students uh, of which discipline would turn up for the workshop right uh, and maybe the students will not be as i have already told you in the beginning students might not be taking the workshop completely because of uh, dearth of time um at the time of thesis writing they are doing a lot of things okay because they are winding up the semester so they might be preparing for the exams so time constraints happens to be one of the biggest challenges for uh, for for 
resource person who are working for uh, designing such workshops or such courses or such services, right? Then, you know, um, what, what you're supposed to do is while uh, uh, you would be um, encountering such problems, you would put your knowledge of ESP to work. And what does your teaching and learning of ESP tell you is to investigate the needs of the students, okay? We have already done a whole full-fledged chapter on needs analysis. So here also you would be investigating students' needs. Now, uh, there are sections I've told you. Uh, you need to investigate which section is more problematic. Because of, you know, time constraints, you need to focus on the solutions, right? So if the students do, do not have a problem with writing of an abstract, so it is not compulsory to make it a part of uh, a workshop that is designed for English for thesis writing, okay? Uh, wherever the problem lies, uh, maybe in the literature review or data analysis section um, or conclusion or presentation of the results, you need to focus on those sections where uh, the student need most help, okay? Now, uh, there are some technical parts of the thesis, for instance, the methodology section. Now in the method, methodology section is very much objective. Um, you cannot help students a great deal in the methodology section because uh, they, they are from different disciplines, right? But what is common in all theses is everyone has to write a literature review and we would see the sample that from the sample, anyone from any of the discipline can learn a lot, right? So there are a number of commonalities uh, that you need to find out um, while you are designing such uh, courses or material or developing material for such workshops, right? For instance, I've told you, you know, um, Introduction is, you know, common in the sense that everyone has to write an introduction um, with the same, um, you know, sections, like there would be statement of the problems and how do you present your research questions and how do you write the thesis or hypothesis? How can you convert the hypothesis to questions and questions to hypothesis? This is common in all disciplines. Everyone would be doing literature review and everyone would be using a referencing system. So while you would be investigating their needs, you would be you know, collecting uh, data on these topics as well, right? So um, discussion of the result is common. Everyone discusses the result. Now, what are the language problems, you know? <clears throat> You, are, you would be working on two areas as far as English for thesis writing is concerned. You would be working on the language issues, okay, what language issues they usually face, right? And secondly, you would be, you know, uh, working with uh, organization of the thesis, okay? Content, um, their organizational requirement, uh, academic form of expression, uh, how to write formally, where to use, you know, active and passive voice, uh, how to rephrase, right? Uh, because, you know, in literature review, a lot of uh, rephrasing um, along with adding your own argument is required. Um, I don't know how many of you know about the Turnitin software and plagiarism issues. So, you know, if you if you are um, copy pasting things from others' work, even if you are acknowledging it, then also uh, you get a high similarity index, right? In order to avoid that, you need some language skills, okay? And in order to uh, do that, you need to even if you are a teacher, you need to uh, of ESP, you need to teach this skill to the students also how to rephrase, how to paraphrase. Okay, what is essential, uh, how to skim. You know, um, thesis writing needs a lot of language skills. Okay, um, 
a person who's doing thesis needs to read a lot of uh, research work related to his field okay so when um, he's reading a lot of things he needs to arrange them he needs to at times he needs to paraphrase them at times he needs to rephrase them at times he needs to you know put his own arguments uh, between two works um along with acknowledging people's work through citation uh, in text citation we call it and then you have to refer it outside also so a lot of language skills are required to do that okay that is why here also in this chapter it says that literature review becomes the first problem of uh, people who are um, writing thesis right so uh, it's not a usual kind of a needs analysis it's an unusual needs analysis that needs to be conducted in order to investigate students uh, needs right why is it unusual because people are coming from different uh, disciplines or people are expected to be coming from different disciplines right as i told you that university organized just one workshop for everyone and that was handed to the english department um to teach the students and we we received student from the science section we received student from the management we received our own, own students also in that workshop so we had to design something um that can cater to all of these students and could help all of them together so they were doing activities together um and they were learning uh, similar things also one thing that was common and that that made our work a little easy was that everyone uh, at our university follows apa okay so uh, the workshop one section of the workshop aim to uh, teach them referencing skills also so that they learn how to uh, do the references or how to acknowledge how to do the citations right so uh, when we when we talk about developing courses we always talk about the needs analysis right and the needs analysis here is a different kind of needs analysis because people are coming from different uh, different disciplines one thing and then a thesis has a lot of sections at least five right so uh when a thesis has has these sections so maybe you know um, people have difficulty in different sections just not one section okay so you need to check uh, where does the difficulty lie okay or where which are the areas where most of the students are facing difficulty so you are because your time is short you're not you're giving them a whole full fledged course you are just giving them a workshop of maybe 5 days extended hours uh, workshop okay now let's come to the to the practical side of it um i would also like you to open your books as well um but i think uh, we just have uh, like 8 uh, minutes to the session anyway we can make use of it and then uh, we'll see if we can get back now for instance um if you are designing um english for thesis writing specifically for the discussion of the result chapters then um, in the in the in the result section you need to make certain claims based on the results that you have got okay and how do you get the results you get the results through analysis okay now um whatever kind of analysis you have done um that might not be a part of the workshop because you know um, data analysis uh, of course you need language for data analysis but uh, whatever results you have got the common thing in all the discipline is the discussion on this okay whatever results you have uh, in your result chapter you need to discuss the results analysis is one thing and the discussion on the result is another thing so what do you do in the discussion of the result is the students are required to make certain claims right now there can be uh, through words you can make stronger claims 
or you can make some general claims you can make some tentative claims okay uh, and how do you do that we are going to look at it as well you can be assertive in your claims that means uh, you are you are presenting some definite claims also and it is not that uh, only one kind of you can only make one kind of claim or if you are assertive in your claims then only your research would be uh, good enough but uh, if you know how to put your claims differently then you will have options and you will actually put the claims as they are if you are not really sure about uh, some of uh, the things that you have found in the result and you are just trying to generalize it you just cannot say it assertively you have to you know uh, make use of some hedges right um you would be signaling a possible explanation to it right um you can be you know general generally making certain claims not uh, taking the responsibility of the claims right so you, uh, so the students need to know such words phrases and sentences in order to write down or put their claims uh, differently right if they have uh, these this language limitations then you know there is a problem they would be much of the time asserting on things that they might not be sure about and that would be really uh, reflecting um bad conclusions because they are unable to discuss the result uh, completely as they are right so there are several kinds of claims that needs different phrases linguistic features that need to be learned so that the students have an option and have have a variety in vocabulary in a, and in expression to put their claims because discussion of results is all about you know uh, what you have gathered what do you infer from the data analysis basically right now my question i would end the session with this question what are hedges because probably um, you have done this hedges right if you have done pragmatics you must have done hedges also so what are hedges 